In today's video, we are discussing 10 tips, tricks, and features that you might not know about a Ford F-150. So if you're shopping for a new truck or you have an older model, this video is for you. Also, stay tuned through the duration of the video because there's gonna be a gift card through the video popping up, so make sure that you claim that and use it. So stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Let's talk about tips, tricks, and features about a truck. So tip number one has to do with the remote control. So inside of the remote control, there is a battery. And what happens if the battery goes dead? Well, the lock and unlock is not gonna work. The push button start is not going to work either. Now, right now, as you can see in here, this is a working remote control. So I'm gonna show you what to do to replace the battery first of all. So you just remove the cover from the back fob. I've got this little tool, tool to make it easy to pop out the battery. The battery is CR2450. That is the size of the battery in case you want to replace the battery. I'm gonna put this back together and then I'm gonna show you that the truck is not going to start. Push the button, key is not detecting, lock and unlock is not working. Now, the trip, the tip to this and the trick is to remove this bottom cover to reveal a hole that is in the cup holder, right? You place the key inside of the hole as you can see right there. And now the truck should allow us to start up. Boom. And that's with a dead remote control. There's a little tip. It's not a big deal, but one customer one day told me, man, I did not know that I can turn off that message every time that I turned off my truck. So the message that he's talking about is that right there. Now, I, it's pretty sad to know that a manufacturer has to put that message to not forget your kids in the back. You know, it's pretty sad, but it happens. So the way to remove that message from coming up again is very simple. So you just go to the settings of the truck, then you go to vehicle, and then it's right here, rear occupant alert. We want to go ahead and turn it off as you can see right there now the message there there's going to say it's going to pop up twice a year to ask you if you wanted to turn that feature back on but obviously a lot of us are not what is going on social media family my name is jorge lopez and yes i sell cars we are located in tomball texas if i could be of service to you for your next ford vehicle my contact is on the screen i would love to have a conversation with you now let's get back to the video Tip and feature number three has to do with two parts, the e-brake and the shifter. Let's talk about the parking brake first. So normally you would pull on this tab, right? To engage your parking brake, as you can see right there. To release it, you would have to press the brake pedal and push this away, right? And then you are good to go and good to drive. But another way that you can do it, and that's where this tip comes into play, if you have your parking brake on and you are already in drive, all you need to do is give it a little bit of gas and you start moving and boom, the parking brake goes away and it's cleared off. Now, part number two is, let's say that you got home and you forgot to put the shifter into park. Well, Ford really thought about that because there has been cases where people do forget and the car starts to roll. So let's assume you got home, you're in the home driveway and look at what the shifter does as soon as I open the door. Yeah, it automatically put itself into park. So these are two really cool features. Use it today. Feature number four has to do with the front part of the F-150. It is called active 
grill shutters. And yes, I talked about this in an older video of mine, but I feel like we have to talk about it again. These are some shutters that are right behind the grill and they open and they close depending on how you're using the vehicle. For example, if you are out and about and you're traveling, they might be completely wide open so that a lot of air can come into the vehicle's engine bay and perform better. So let's say that you're in a cold climate, right? And you remotely start the vehicle, then these shutters might close so that the engine can warm up the fastest. So with that being said, let me show you how these actually work. I'm gonna remote start the vehicle and you should see them open up and close right there. So you really don't have to do anything to the vehicle. The active grill shutters are there to help the vehicle perform better and you don't have to do a single thing. Feature tip number five has to do with when you're having issues with the SYNC 4 system. So there's two ways that you can do a reset on the system if you're having problems with it before you even bring it to the dealership. And this one here, you can actually do it while you're driving. So let me show you. So there's a uh, your power button right here and your forward button. So if you hold both of these down, what it's gonna do, it's, it's gonna turn the screen to black. Like you see there, you can release. And basically what the system is doing, it is doing a small reboot. It, this one right here is not removing any information. It is not removing your Ford's program, your Ford cell phone, your cell phone, excuse me, with the programming or Ford Pass. It is just a simple reboot. Now, if you have to do a master reset, if you're still having issues with the system, let me show you what to do. So to do a master reset, you go to settings, you go to general, and then at the bottom, you have reset right here. You press that, and then right here, boom, factory reset. All systems and setting will be reset to factory. So basically, you can do this as a last resort. This will erase your Ford Pass connection, your Bluetooth connection, but try these two resets before you take your vehicle to your Ford dealership. Trick number six has to do with your remote control again and the unlock, fe unlock feature. So by default from the factory, if you hit the unlock button on, the, on your remote control, all doors unlock at the same time. But let's say that you live in a menacing area or if you're a lady and you don't want the other doors to unlock as well when you hit the unlock button, well, let me show you this trick. You go to settings first of all, and then you go to vehicle. Under vehicle settings, you scroll down until you see locks. And then from here, remote unlock. As you can see, it is defaulted to open up all of the doors, but if you select driver's door, only the driver's door is going to unlock. So you can change this according to your preference. Tip number seven has to do with memory seats, as you can see right there. This truck has that. And I love memory seats because it allows multiple people to use the vehicle without having to hassle too much about programming. So in this case, I want to also show you that you can program your seating position with a remote control, his and hers. So when somebody hits the unlock button, then all of the features move to that setting, when the other person hits the unlock button on that other remote control, then all of the seating positions move to that person's. So basically we have to, first of all, program your seats and steering wheel and all that stuff, and then program this remote control. So this is what we do. We adjust everything. And then what we do is we hold down this memory seat button once, let it go, hit it again, because we're gonna hear a second beep. Once we hear a second beep, we're gonna hit the lock button and that'll conclude the programming. So let's test it out. That's beep one. Beep two, hit the lock button. 
and now this seating position has been memorized for this remote control. Try it out. Point number eight, the door code. Sometimes you don't get that from the factory. Sometimes if you buy a used vehicle, you don't get that as well. So in this point number eight, I'm gonna show you how to retrieve the door code, how to use it and change it, and also some of the functions that you can use with that door code. First of all, what you need to do is remove this rubber bottom uh, tray cover, and then you have to push the button in the accessory mode, drop key number one, count four seconds, turn the truck off, drop key number two, hit the button, and the magic should appear on the dash. We are still in the door code, so I'm gonna show you now how to change the factory door code to something that is a little bit more unique and personal. So basically what you need to do is type in the factory code in this truck, then immediately press the one, two button to put it into programming mode and then type in whatever five numbers you want and then hit the last two buttons to lock it to conclude the programming mode. So this is how to change your code outside. Let's go inside and I'll show you how to change it in there. Now, the second way that you can change your door code is by going to settings, then going to vehicle, going all the way down you have your door keypad code, and then you just type in the factory number, hit enter, then this message comes up. Do not select erase, select add, and then go ahead and add whatever five numbers you want to customize your door code. Now I wanna show you a couple of features that you can use with the numeric keypad. Right now, the door is unlocked. So if you don't have the key with you, what you can do to lock your doors is easily press the seven, eight and the nine zero button. Now everything is locked. Now, if you type in your door code and you press the three, four button, then the passenger doors are gonna open. And then if you press the five, six button, your tailgate should also unlock and open. So let's test it out. Doors unlocked, this unlocks passenger door and this should unlock your tailgate. <laughs> Tip number nine is called global windows and it has to do with not only the windows of the truck but also your remote control. I don't know which state you live in, but here in Texas, sometimes it feels like we can get up to 140 degrees, yeah. And sometimes you walk up to your truck and you forgot to remote start it. So don't sweat it, man. We can have you lower your windows remotely so that the hot air comes out. It's really simple. All you need to do is hit the unlock button one time and then hit it a second time, but this time hold it down. And then the windows, as you can see right there, automatically roll down so that the hot air escapes you get into your truck and it's not going to burn your butt the last tip that we have for you guys today is ford pass now ford pass came out in 2017 i believe so most fords from 17 through now have ford pass in this case i'm going to show you my specific Ford Pass, but I'm gonna show you a few things that you might not know. Now here in services, if I select that, I can go ahead and have a quick access to roadside assistance. And from here, I can call them in case I need some help. So Ford, right, uh, Ford Roadside Assistance will come and help you absolutely free of charge for five years or 60,000 miles. Now, another thing that is important is this reference guide. So from here, you've got how-to videos on how to operate your vehicle, and also your owner's manual is now digital. So from here, you can actually download information because keep in mind that now everybody wants to save paper, right? And I can't tell you how many times I've had people that have never read the owner's manual. You know, there's a few that do, 
but for the majority of people, now we've got it digital. And then also, let's continue over here in Ford Pass. What I wanna show you, I feel like this is very important and something that a lot of people don't use, vehicle health reports. So from here, the vehicle itself does reports and checks uh, powertrain, checks braking system, as you can see there. You can also set this up to uh, give you this report either monthly, quarterly, so on and so forth. So I feel like getting these reports from Ford themselves for your vehicle's health, I think it's a really cool and very important feature. So take advantage of Ford Pass, download for free, it is at no charge. There you have it guys, this is a video about 10 things, tips and tricks and features that you might not know about a Ford F-150. I sincerely appreciate you guys being here. If you like the content, man, we would love a like. Share it to somebody that might see value in these tips and tricks. And if you are interested in getting a Ford vehicle, hey man, I am your guy. I sincerely appreciate you. On to the next video. Have a blessed day.